All these worlds are yours except Europa. Attempt no landing there. Well, as much as I love Arthur C. Clarke and his books, I've got to disagree with his judgment on which moons we should be avoiding. Europa's awesome. It's probably got a vast liquid ocean underneath its icy surface. There might even be life swimming down there, ready to be discovered. Giant, freaky Europa whales or some kind of alien sharknado. Oh man, I just had the best idea for a movie. So yeah, Europa's fine. The place we really should be avoiding is the Martian moon Phobos. Why? What's wrong with Phobos? Have I become some kind of phobophobe? Is there any good reason to avoid this place? Well, first, its name tells us all we need to know. Phobos is named for the Greek god of horror. And I don't mean like the usual gods of horror, as in Clive Barker, John Carpenter, Wes Craven. I mean that Phobos is the actual personification of fear, possibly with a freaky lion's head. And there's also the fact that Phobos is doomed, literally doomed, living on borrowed time. Its days are numbered. It's been poisoned and there's no antidote. It's got metal shards in its heart and the battery on its electromagnet is starting to brown out. More specifically, in a few million years, the asteroid-like rock is going to get torn apart by the Martian gravity and then smashed onto the planet. Now it all comes down to tidal forces. Our moon takes about 27 days to complete an orbit and our planet takes around 24 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. But our moon is pulling unevenly on the Earth and that's slowing its rotation down. So to compensate, the moon is slowly drifting away from us. And we did a whole episode about this, which we'll link at the end of this episode. But on Mars, Phobos only takes eight hours to complete an orbit around the planet. So while the planet takes almost 25 hours to complete one rotation on its axis. So Phobos travels three times around the planet for every Martian day. And this is a problem. It's actually speeding up Mars rotation. And in exchange, it's getting closer and closer to Mars with every orbit. The current Deadpool gives the best odds on Phobos taking 30 to 50 million years to finally crash into the planet. The orbit will get lower and lower until it reaches a level known as the Roche limit. And this is the point where the tidal forces between the near and far sides of the moon are so different that it gets torn apart. And then Mars will have a bunch of teeny moons from the former Phobos. And then the good news, these adorable moonlets will get further pulverized until Mars has a ring. And then the bad news, that ring will crash onto the planet in a cascade of destruction to be described as the least fun balloon drop of all time. So you probably wouldn't want to live on Mars then either. So count yourself lucky. What were the chances that we would exist in the solar system at a time that Phobos was a thing and not a string of impacts on the surface of Mars? So enjoy Phobos while you can, but remember that real estate there is temporary. Might I suggest somewhere in the alien Sharknado infested waters of Europa instead? So what do you think? Did Arthur C. Clarke have it wrong? Should we explore Europa? Tell us in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Never miss an episode by clicking subscribe. Our Patreon community is the reason these shows happen. And we'd like to thank Barbara Powell and the rest of the members who support support us by creating great space and astronomy content for the world to view for free. If you want to get in on the action and join our community, click here. You'll get advanced access to episodes, video extras, and behind the scenes goofballery and participation in contests and other shenanigans with Jay, myself, and the rest of the team. So click right here and head on over to Patreon. Yay. Good job, everybody.